Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna just keep it super short and straight to the point. Um, I've been playing around with my Raspberry Pi 3, and I put RetroPie on it so that I can sort of test out some of the old emulation of older titles and older games. And one of the things I noticed is when it's connected to my TV, it does not have audio, or at least it didn't coming out of the HDMI port um, like you would expect. Um, and here's the fix that worked for me, and it's a fix that I saw repeated a few times over the internet, but I just wanted to bring this to you in case you have a, a Raspberry Pi and are running RetroPi and having this issue where sound is not coming out of the HDMI port. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot up the Raspberry Pi and show you exactly what you need to do to get it working. Okay, so once Emulation Station has completely started, I'm gonna hit the start button and go down to quit. And I'm gonna shut down, not shut down system, but I'm on quit emulation station. And I do wanna really quit. So it takes me out to the, um, just sort of the terminal. And in that terminal, I'm gonna type CD slash boot. Okay, now we're sitting in, in the boot sector of the uh, directory. Now, and I will put all these commands down below in the description as well. Next, you're gonna type in sudo, so run as um, administrator, nano, which is a text editor, and then we're gonna type in config.txt, and hit enter. And that takes us into the nano editor. And this is really simple. So about halfway down here, and I've already made the edit, but I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean. About halfway down here, it would normally say hashtag HDMI underscore drive equals two. Now, I've already removed the hashtag from mine. However, if you've never touched this file, then it will have that hashtag or pound symbol or number sign, whatever it is that you call it in front of HDMI underscore drive two. And all you have to do is remove that pound sign. And then when you're done getting rid of that hashtag in front of HDMI drive equals two, all you're gonna do is hold the control button hit X to exit, and it'll ask you if you want to save the modified buffer. You will hit Y, and then you will hit enter. And you are back out to the uh, the menu, or, the, or rather the terminal view. Now all you're gonna do is type in emulation station with absolutely no spaces, and it will reboot emulation station. And if you did your job correctly, and you follow those steps, at least in most cases, this will fix your uh, sound issue from coming out of the HDMI port. You will then have sound and you'll be able to enjoy your games with sound. And for more retro pie coverage, you can subscribe down below, share, comment if this helped you out, like, all those great things. I'll let YouTube queue up a card for you so you can watch something else. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware. I'll see you guys in the next video.